you wild and crazy. What was it like going on with your 88, 88 car tonight? We had a lot of brake problems with the car, and uh, the, the fluid boiled over under that last caution. I couldn't keep the pedal up and just had all rear brakes that last run. So just real loose, getting in the corner, trying to, you know, trying to run seventh was was all I could do. Uh, just trying not to fall back worse than that. They, they were fine. The, the run before when we were racing with Matt, and I thought we had a little bit better car than him in the middle of the corner, but under that next caution, they pulled over. We had brake problems earlier in the race, the last 150 laps, 200 laps. They've, uh, the fluid's black, and uh, Steve says it's pulled over a couple times. So we've got, we got a lot of rubber built up on the brick duck and uh, the grill, so they just got real hot. A lot of emotion at the end of the race, too. Yeah, the two is Matt at the 20, and so he slammed on brakes after the checkered and the 47 run into the 20, the, I, I ran into the 20. Uh, that was, I don't know what that was all about. Get, you know, get over it. <laughs> That's all I know. Thanks, man. All right, Steve and Dad, if I were to the candid drivers, they're in the middle of it, then they watch some of this back, Michael Walker, if they try to figure out what happened. Uh, uh, who knows what all happened? They were two and three wide at Richmond Battle Bar. That was good stuff, man. And we know this, that Joey Logano now has five career wins on five different tracks. His first cup win came at age 19. He's in victory lane tonight. One more for Richmond in a moment. Logano the winner, Jeff Gordon Washington second, followed by Kyle Busch and Brad Keselowski. And after nine races, you see those two wins, Logano and Harvick, have them in the bag. And your points leader, Jeff Gordon, who thought he had, in fact, he led the most laps tonight, 173, the most laps, the last entire season last year, he didn't lead the most laps in a race. Disappointment for him. Let's check in with Chris DeVos. Another great run for Jeff Gordon, a great car, and fantastic on restarts tonight. Unfortunately, not the win, but another great run. Well, you know, it's, the restarts are something that we're, you know, really adamant about this year because it was definitely hurting us last year. And tonight, we really didn't have a good short run car. We had a, a really good long run car, or about, about 40, 50 laps. It was the best car out there. I, I had a blast tonight. Uh, Great short track racing here at Richmond, and to have a race car like that to drive from 25th up to the front like that was so much fun. And uh, you know, Joey was in the right place there. He had a good short run car, and uh, we were battling it out. Matt was making this car really super wide, and which you got to do to try to win. And and um, you know, we were just battling hard, you know, and and it just didn't come down the way that we needed it to. We needed a little bit longer run, but. Thanks to Drive In Hunger and Pepsi Max, uh, everybody at Exalta, uh, Chevrolet, we're having so much fun right now, babbling, and uh, just can't thank this team enough for their incredible effort. Pit stops, I mean, everything. We're just showing up at the racetrack with cars capable of winning. It's just a matter of time before we do win. Yeah, just a matter of time, and that win is coming for sure. Well, Kyle Busch giving credit for third place. Uh, wild finish here at Richmond. Uh, from your point of view, talk about the final laps. Man, I, I really doubt it, Dave. They're coming down pit road for four tires with just that few laps left to go. And uh, just um, the, when the restart happened, everybody kind of started shoveling to the bottom a little bit in turn one. And I'm like, okay, fine, I'm going around the top. And uh, I just put it on kill out there and uh, drove it like a bad mofo and uh, come home third. So it's pretty good. I mean, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on, a lot of guys getting into each other. Just those eight laps that those guys had on tires in front of us, you know, it looked like they had 80 laps on their tires the way I could drive through there with stickers, you know. So just an uh, unbelievable day. I mean, we really did not deserve a third whatsoever, but uh, we'll take it. It's a great points day for us, and uh, we got a win. So um, we took that gamble, and uh, it almost paid off for us. You know, if those guys would have raced up front a few more laps, and Joey and Jeff could have got bottled up a little bit more, I probably could have got there and then raced them for the win. But uh, they got singled out, and, um, you know, I couldn't chase them down after that. Like a bad mofo. That's right. <laughs> All right, and, and look at the celebration. Becky burned off his tires. Legato had to walk into a victory lane. We'll continue live here on the Sprint Post Race for more on the drivers overheating. There's a lot more to that story. Man is just doing everything he can to win the race. He's leading the race. He can pick his lane. And this is the key move that I think I appreciate Matt for the most. He goes down into turn one. It's a little loose on entry. But watch, Chris, at the exit turn two, he's able just to close that door on Kislowski. He didn't run him out of room. He just closed the door. I think Brad didn't really... You're, you're going to have emotions late in the race like this. I don't think he had really a leg to stand on in that argument because Matt's leading the race. He's doing all he can do. Gee. And by the way, the guy running fourth here, he's your winner. Yeah, Team Penske, and both of their wins prior to this came on last lap passes. Legato passing Gordon on that final lap in Texas to win, and here he, he got through the crowd. Jeff Gordon winding up second, and uh, exciting 
finish in the Richmond. Time for the Toyota Let's Go places. A look ahead to the Aaron's 499 in Talladega. Matt Kenseth, by the way, who led 35 laps, the only Toyota leading tonight. And when we go to Talladega, restrictor plate racing, and it's all bets are off. Remember, David Reagan won in what was uh, probably the biggest upset of the race last year at Talladega. Well, that was definitely David winning over Goliath. That team <laughs> just took that victory at Talladega. You don't see that very often. Talladega is a place where there's going to be a lot of mixing up and a lot of different leaders, but usually at the end of the race, you can count on one hand the guys that you really think are going to be winners, and Reagan wasn't on that hand, yeah. but he pulled it off. Well, it doesn't take a different meaning now with the new chase format where you win a race and you're nearly in. Can, can you feel it? Could you just taste it tonight, how bad those guys wanted to win that race? Jeff Gordon pushing on Brad Keselowski. Matt Kenseth moving everybody around, and Kyle Busch started outside the top 15 on that last restart with fresh tires and drove... Did he say blindfold? I don't know what he said. Around the top side of the track <laughs> in order to grab the, the third spot. But that's just awesome racing. I think it was Mofo or something like that. But Kozlowski's not only excited about Kenza, he's excited for his teammate. The guy he wanted to be part of Penske Racing. And there's Brad congratulating tonight's winner, Joey Lagoda. Well, if you were watching NASCAR on Fox tonight, the theme was fires and tires and fighting. And intense competition. Look at this is Costa Casey and the Tasmanian Terror going at it, and uh, we weren't able to catch up with them. And the winner was not one of those. It was Joey Logano with his second victory of the season. How about the guys? We, we're nine races in, Michael Walter, who have on the Sprint Post Race Show, who have not yet won this year. Jimmy Johnson, best, uh, the highest he got tonight was fifth. Jeff Gordon, you know, he flirted with victory. He's still the points leader. Tony Stewart was not in the picture. Matt Kenton, and also guys like Denny Hamlin and, and Casey Kane. How about how close those guys have gotten to win, though? Especially Jeff Gordon. He's been fast week in and week out. He was right there again tonight with the win. I don't have a problem with how anyone that was in the battle for that win acted. Kozlowski was upset because he didn't win. Obviously, you're going to be upset, Kenton, and Gordon said that we did everything we could to win, and Joey Logano obviously pulled it off. Kevin Harvick told us on the free race show, the, the restart's the most intense part of what we do. Well, we saw some of the aftermath. Obviously, Talladega, not the kind of place for payback. That's where we talk about short tracks or that kind of a place. But will we see any carryover from guys like Brad Keselowski or Marcus Ambrose? You just saw how crowded things get at the end of this race here in Richmond. That's how crowded it's going to be for 500 miles at Talladega, Chris. Inches apart at 200 miles an hour. Somebody makes the slightest mistake. 20 cars can be swept into a crash. So uh, things aren't going to let up when we go to Alabama next weekend. The finish deserved a wow, and you certainly can appreciate the emotion from not only the winner, but those competitors. Hotly contested once again. Tonight on Fox Late Local News, we thank our uh, many affiliates for hanging in there with us in that animation domination, which is always fun. Victory Lane over at Fox Sports 1, and we'll hope to catch up with some of those that were chasing Joey Logano. And next Sunday, we mentioned uh, Talladega, the wild card race in it all. Through nine races so far this season, Joey Logano and Kevin Harvick are the only two drivers who have been able to win two races. Jeff Gordon is your points leader as we head to the lengthiest track on the NASCAR circuit. This has been a very lightest production, directed by Artie Kempner. From Michael Walter, our entire crew, I'm Chris Myers. Thanks for being a part of NASCAR. In fact, have a uh, great rest of your weekend, and we'll see you next weekend in Talladega, Alabama. <laughs>